Well, I think the first thing we try to do is figure out what skills and, and what levels of performance correlate most highly to success in our league. So we, we try to do some you know, correlative analysis to see what skills matter. And then based on what we think are the, the most important or critical skills to have in place, then we start to coach and teach to those. You know, it's important to understand that regardless of strengths or weaknesses, you know, there, there are certain elements of the game that, that matter more than others relative to your continued su success on the volleyball court. So, for example, you've heard this from, from many coaches, but the serve-receive serve battle matters. You know, if we can serve and knock our opponents out of system and if we can pass and stay in system, then our chances of winning the match go up significantly. And, and you combine that with things like side out or transition offense, and all of a sudden those things start to be important relative to what you're going to work on today in practice. So regardless of whatever we're good at or we're not good at, the first thing is find out what matters. And, and then let's try to get those things in place. And then once you've got those things in place, then you can start working on some of the other skills that are perhaps not as significant relative to outcome but can still have a really big influence on the match so i know it's framed your question's framed in this idea of strengths and weaknesses but i, I think you got to start figuring out what what matters and then teach to that back to the the idea of strength and weaknesses in general though i think overall it's probably better in season to work on strengths and augment those than it is to try to shore up weaknesses when i first started i think over time I don't think this was something that I regret, or but I just think as I've gone on in the coaching part of it, you know, being able to let go of some of the little things and really just try to look more at the big picture. It, it's hard to know if at 35 or whatever, when I started coaching the men's team, if I had the, the ability to do that, but I think that would have helped me and, and maybe the team as well, but just, you know, there, there's you've got your finger in so many different pies trying to figure out all the different building blocks of these programs that you're trying to build. And, and um, I, I think finding ways to delegate more and maybe ways to, to, to just focus on, on some of the bigger, more important aspects and, and not get tied up in some of the other stuff would have been beneficial. But, you know, I mean, hindsight's 2020. I'm, we, we don't know, but, but it seems like that's something that I, I'm better at now that I think allows me to manage the stresses that go with coaching in a, in a better way than, than maybe I did then.